نحمد ونسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم عن نبی صاحب قال دخلنا على ابی سعید الخدری فبین ما نحن جلوس اذ سمعنا تحت سریرہ حرکا فنظرنا فیدا فی حیا الى آخره It is narrated from Abu Sa'ib that I visited the house of Abu Sa'id Khudri radiyallahu an while he was praying so I sat down. I found a stair in the bundle of the woods lying in the corner of the house. I found the snake there and was going to kill the snake. But Abu Sa'id Khudri radiyallahu an made a gesture to sit down, so I sat down. After the prayer, Abu Sa'id radiyallahu an pointed to a room in the house. He said that there was a young man who was newly wedded, and we went to Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to participate in the battle of the trench, Ghazbai Khandaq, in the midday. Young man used to seek permission from Allah's Messenger Sallam to go back to house to meet his wife because he loved his wife too much. Allah's Messenger Sallam granted the permission. Next day, he got the permission again, but Allah's Messenger Sallam said that take your weapons with you for the Banu Qurayza may harm you. So he took his weapons and moved to the house where he found his wife standing between the doors of the house. He became angry and he was going to kill his wife with a spear but his wife said that first go inside and check what made me to stand outside the house. So young man went inside the house and found the snake there coiled in the bed. So he pierced the snake with the spear and fixed in the ground of the house. After this, snake attacked on the young man and no one knew which one of them died first, young man or the snake. So after this, We went to the Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to narrate and request to supplicate to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for the life of the young man may be fainted with the poison of the snake. But Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it asked forgiveness for your friend, go and believe after this. This hadith is narrated in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 5839. And in this Hadith, Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said that there were jinn in the Medina who accepted the Islam. So if you find the snake in your house, then make an announcement as a warning for the snake for three days. If you find again, then kill the snake because it is devil. And in another Hadith, Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam forbid to kill the snake except the snake short-tailed snake Al-Labtar and the snakes having streaks upon them because they can obliterate, obliterate the eyesight and affect what is in the womb of the mother. And in another hadith we come to know that Allah's Messenger said, if you find the snake, then say, we ask by the covenant of the Nuh Islam and by the covenant of the Suleiman Islam, then don't harm us. So if you find the snake again, then kill the snake. So for the covenant of the Nuh Islam, because the snake saved from the flood, by sitting in the boat of the Nuh al-Islam. And Sulaiman al-Islam ruled over the jinn and the snakes. So in this hadith, we come to know about killing the snake, which is 
fully explained in these hadiths so we should follow the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we follow the companions of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah help us to understand the quran and the sunna so after viewing this video share it it will become sadqa jariya for you ma ma alaina illa al balagh al mubin